He plays lots of games. He chats with his friends. Come on, everybody, it's the Fireblades! Hello, everyone. I'm the Fireblades, and welcome to Receiver once again. I love this game. I don't know why. I have no idea why I love this game, but I do. So I'm going to carry on playing it. So there. Now I've got a bit more used to it. I've been playing it over and over again and getting a bit more attuned to the controls I've set for it. Um, now this is my semi-automatic. There have got no cartridges left, but I do appear to have quite a lot of rounds. There's one in the chamber already. I'll pick that up, reload that, put back in. I'm a little bit faster now. Got used to the mechanics a bit more. So I'm just going to get straight to it and see how far I get. The objective is to collect 11 cassette tapes and see how it goes. I'll be making more use of the sprint function as well, which I really neglected to mention in my first playthrough of this. Um, it's actually, you don't hold shift, uh, there's not a separate button, you tap the W button. As if you are going, <laughs> like that. Uh, oh, shit. Uh-oh. Now, I know there's a tape there, but I've already come across a flying drone. So I've got to be careful. I'll pick up this tape, as Your well as some ammunition. Your world is not the true reality. Your physical body here is the shadow cast by your transcendent mind. We call this higher plane Reality A. In your world of shadows, reality B. If you are receiving this message in a fictional context, you are at an even deeper level, one that we cannot reach. Because your body is a shadow of your mind, when your mind dies, your body will vanish. There you are, you little bastard. In the normal order of your world, that is merely Shit. a transition in which your mind is set free. But oh. for victims of the coming mind Where kill, there is pain Ah! How the hell? That was quick. Um, I might be talking over the audio logs. I'm very sorry if I am, but it's the audio logs are basically just um, exposition about it. Um, I have yet to read properly up on the backstory, but the way it goes is I have been put into this kind of dystopic uh, kind of organization where I uh, there's this been thing happened called a mind kill and I as a receiver have been training to avoid the mind kill so I can stay alive however everything's gone to hell now because this mind kills happened to destroy many people on the planet and apparently we have guns and it's been conjured up as a dream and um, I'll be carrying on playing this so I'll be able to fill you in with a few more details about what's going on maybe I'll just go on the wiki I'm not I'm not too sure so pardon me if I speak over the top but it is just exposition. Um, all I'm here to do is collect tapes and load weapons. Now I found something new. If I press this button it pulls the hammer back um, and then what I do is press and hold the same button, press the trigger, release the first button and that brings the hammer back down without actually shooting the weapon. Which again plus one for the realism. But now I've got no torch. Ah, you see there, you've got to anticipate stuff. You've got to be careful of these little lasers. This means there's a, a little drone going round and round and round. Right close as well. And it depends where you shoot it. If you shoot it in the lens, that little grey thing on top, it actually knocks it out so it can't see. It doesn't where you are. I think you shoot the little brown thing underneath it. Um... So this little bit there, under, above the green thing, I think that's the ammo rack. And I think that's the battery. And that is like the stand. I think that's just the main power source. I'm not too sure, but it explains it in one of the cassettes when you pick it up. There we go. We're hoping for one-shot kills like that. Because that conserves our ammunition. Now, you might be thinking, I've got to reload this, but how do you reload a revolver? Well, you slide the rod out. But now, I have to pick up the new ammunition, load it into the revolver, and what you can do here, you can spin the cylinder with the mouse wheel, and you, you can set 
how slowly it goes. So you can essentially play Russian roulette. You can you can choose to only slide one into the chamber, spin it. Ah, oh, and I survived. However, I'm not here to play Russian roulette. <clears throat> it's worth bearing in mind. Okay, I'm okay there. Sometimes it's good to not have to have a torch because you can see the blue outlines of the the turrets a lot easier. So you're on your own. You got no allies and you have to be very aware of your surroundings. The music kind of helps helps you concentrate actually. Um, I remember when I used to do my uh, coursework back at university, and it was so boring sometimes. So what I did was actually put on some music from Metal Gear Solid, like Shadow Moses or whatever. And it was kind of like this, but it was more... Doo -doo 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 and that pulsing actually helped me focus. Because, well, that music is there to help you focus. It's a stealth game, and you've got to make sure to... Hey, you've got to make sure to creep around the enemy. Oh, there's another one. Wait till it passes, watch the blue thing. Shoot! Okay, I have to go back again. Oh, shice! Come on! Oh! Oh no, cheeky bugger! No! I've shot the motor. The turret stopped turning. And it just so happens that it stopped turning as it was shoot pointing at me. So now I've got... How many rounds have I got? Two. Okay, I like a challenge. Nope! Oh, shit. Right. I'll go the rounds again, pick up my one remaining one. Now it's Russian roulette time. Oh, I saw that. One. There we go. Now I just need to dart back and forth. Get an idea of where the turret is. Because what I have to do is out shoot back in. Out shoot back in. Oh! It was going the wrong way. Set it to there instead. Nope! How on earth did that not hit me? Oh, next one. No! What? Hey! Right, well, I've just wasted that round. Challenge time! Right, what's the betting I'm going to make? I'm going to have to sprint past it using the tap to W button. So, here I go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What a shot! I managed to shoot out its ammo cartridge, so it can't. It can see me. It registers that I'm there because the lens is still there and it's shining up red. But I've damaged its ammo feed. It's not shooting at me. Look, I can stare at it right in the face. I can look at its barrel. And that's how sensitive the game is. That's how attention to detail is very meticulous, and it's quite gripping, you know. That was pretty exciting for me, having to run past, and you, you can imagine it being in real life. And this is why, this is why I like the game. It hooks you in, it really draws you in. It's really immersive. Ah, oh, now I've got one of those flying sons of bitches, so I've got to be careful of them. i got two of them. So what I'm going to have to do is make a mad dash for that door, I think, and try and pick up any ammunition I find along the way. Oh, unless I try to go up here first. If I can stay out of their way, that would be better. But there's one up there too. I'll get a little bird's eye view up here. Try and get a bird's eye view, seeing if I can find any ammo. Apparently not. So we're doing this the hard way. So I'm going to actually go back up 
here and start backtracking. Ammunition, yes. And a torch. Brilliant. I got a torch and I can see in the dark. Which is great. Absolutely fantastic. So, I'm going to carry on everything here and hope for the best. Right. If I still only got four rounds, but it's better than nothing. It's better than having to run straight into its line of sight. Line of shite, more like. <laughs> oh great, another torch. We don't want another torch. The batteries won't 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 run out. So I'm okay. Oops. Now this usually has one or two. One or two drones. Let me see. I'm gonna see if I can spot some blue lights from here. There's one! Well, I don't know why I pointed at the camera. But it's right there. There you see that blue light. There doesn't seem to be any more and I need to cover my back as well. So what I'm gonna do is dive from doorway to doorway. I'm gonna run like that. Luckily there's nothing there. If I run quick enough past it like that, they can register me but they won't be able to shoot because there's a bit of a delay and I can play that delay to my own advantage. There only seems to be one. Seems quite close. Boom! I think if you can manage to get it, as you can see this bit slants, the very bottom bit. This bit there, it slants and if you can hit it at the back, I've always noticed it knocks it out straight away. Is there one in there? Be aware of the light. I know there's not one in there because there isn't. There barely is. So now instead of looking in the sink, what I can do is just press the pick up button and it will pick it up automatically. My character doesn't need to see it. Nothing in the bathroom, nothing in the toilet. And in this bathroom, there's a lot of bathrooms in this place. Ah, spare ammunition, brilliant. Oh, but I used one up. Now I don't know which one it is. It looks like that one that's got a darker mark in it. I think that's how they do it. They think this is how you tell. Again, realism! <clears throat> Love games like this. Now I've got a bit of ammunition behind me. I might be able to go back and take out those drones. But the thing is, I don't know where to go. There's no map markers. There's no objectives. Let's just collect the, the cassettes. And they could be literally anywhere on this level. I've not come across to the end of the level yet. So I think it uh, respawns. I think it loops. Bonk. Oh. There we go. Drop like a stone. And one time, I actually killed myself. This game uh, has the bullets ricochet, again, relative to real light, real life. And I think the gun ballistics are the same as well. Now, as we notice, from the rounds, the shape of the rounds are kind of rounded points. I don't know the terminology of the, the particular rounds themselves, but each gun uses different rounds. And I think they're quite rounded. <laughs> so, ricochet potential is increased? I have no idea on the physics. I like guns. And I want to shoot guns. Is that a... Oh no, it's not. I thought it was a flying drone inside then. That was a bit confusing. You don't get flying... Oh, hello! <laughs> but then you think, I was doing so well. But then you're not, because I didn't pick up any tapes. Didn't pick up any tapes, darling. And sometimes I get insta-killed straight away before even leaving my starting area. Now I can hear one. Gotta go fast, but you've also gotta take your time. When you move, you gotta be fast. Oh, bonk, bonk. Yeah, it heard me then, or it saw me. I'm gonna go this way instead. Try and get some distance. Although it doesn't really matter, I'm probably gonna come across one right now. I hear the whirring of a machine. Yep, yeah, there it is. Oh, it's quite close, actually. Bonk. 
shit! Will this ricochet? Boom! It didn't ricochet, but it doesn't really matter. Unload those ones. So this game becomes a lot less about reloading magazines, because in modern games, you might get a magazine which is half full, um, and you change it for a full magazine, but you won't lose those rounds in the magazine. It's weird how it goes, but in this, if you've got a half full magazine and you take the magazine out and discard it and put a new one in, you will lose those rounds. You will need to take them out individually. So this is why I'm reloading the separate rounds into the magazine as I would do. This probably wouldn't occur in real life. You'd make sure to... It depends on the situation. Uh, but what I have to do, if you notice, is, well... Especially in the, the magazine guns, not the revolvers. I have to literally put the gun in my inventory. Because you'd use both hands to load the rounds into the magazine, then pull the gun out and insert it in. You wouldn't keep your gun on you because it... Where would you hold the... You know, where would you put the rounds in? But I like to get all geeky and nerdy about this kind of thing. Helps my ADD as well. <laughs> Helps to focus on these meticulous tasks for the interests oh that was a that was a slow rate of fire there aim for the base and dropped blah, 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 blah. right I'm gonna probably try this one more I doubt I'm gonna get even one take to be honest there is no clues about where to find them you are not here to win this game it's like the old arcade games of retro times. You go for the high score, you don't go for the win. Which I believe is good, because it's a legitimate challenge, you know. It doesn't say, oh, you know, we're just going to let this win for you. We're going to put some map markers down. You know, it doesn't hold your hand. I love games that don't hold your hand. Which is why I want to get Dark Souls. And I'll most probably definitely do a Let's Play of Dark Souls once I get it. If anybody wants to give me a copy, then that's fine. But <laughs> yeah. Bug, aim for the back plate, and it's down. And you can see the pock mark there. The decal is oblong, which means that you've hit it from an angle. I've been playing a lot of tank games, War Thunder, um, Heroes and Generals, and um, World of Tanks. And if you hit a tank from the side with your gun, if, the, if it's like that, and then you hit it from the side, it will just bounce off because the angle is too steep. Impact angle, I think it's called. There's another one. The music's getting really into it as well. And boom! Yes, you're down. I'm gonna make a dash there, get a full range of the room before I take cover again. But you have to think about these processes. Now, I don't know where the hell that drone was going. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is make a mad dash for that pillar over there. Oh, hi there! Whoops! No, I'm back. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm going back. Screw this shit. No. No. Oh, that was so stupid. You silly arts. Ah, oh, so as you can see, I'm still playing. And yet another level's loaded up. So I can do it again. That is once again Receiver. If you want me to play more Receiver, I'll be more than happy to. I love this game very much. But I'll be playing some other ones as well. I've got Race the Sun, which I've only just bought, which I'll do another Let's Play of. I'll probably do a bit of uh, War Thunder and World of Tanks, just to show you how that plays out as well. So, um, if you like the video, give it a like and my channel uh, subscribe as well. Um, and stay tuned for more stuff I will be uploading. So until next time, we'll be playing something else. Bye! Oh, they blocked it. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What are we doing? Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll stop. Fine, whatever.